Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a password. Alright, now first things first, we gotta. We can't get through. So now. Let's, uh, let's go and do this part. Like using these things. do not that many string of bear okay. that'll be our password. That's our password we need to put in. That's our reference. So now we're going to make the other one. Let me uh, get the distance up. So now we can see it. Okay. So now we got to build our password to get in. is we're going to put a sequencer. One more signal per output. Add a new string. Now we're going to set. Of these a different letter. This one's going to be H. This one's going to be E. strands here real quick. Hang on a second. Undo. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go. I'll just copy this over a couple of times. why I did that, so I don't have to build this three more times. So I can just build a new string.
Okay, so we got that all, all that set up. Now we gotta build it. because we didn't build the uh, string yet. Well, like I said, this, so every time you activate one of these things, it'll start building it. And finally, we go here. When this matches this, it'll open the door. and show it off. Can't interrupt the bat, I'm gonna try to open the door. An open. So, start building our password a bit. That's just four H's. I'll go back and fix it later. Try to open it again. Oh, whoops. Forgot something. One step I always forget. I always forget that part. Okay, now it should work. <laughs> I always forget about that. password real quick. I'm going to build it wrong in the first place so that you can see that it still won't open the door unless you get it right. So it's obviously wrong and it should still not open the door. Okay, so now let's go ahead and build our full password. Now you can see it's changing. Okay, it's got the D in there. Password. That's what we got to let uh, match up with. Let's see if it works. And there you go. Okay, now I'll explain why that works and how it works so that you understand when you build your own. 
and it is a little complicated, I will be honest. You can always set a string, assuming you set a uh, variable, any other variable in the game. When you set it for a certain letter, a letter will always be built in there. But if you build it with all four letters in a certain way, it will work. And then you got to match it up with this one, which is real easy. Actually, just you just type the word in there. I just did it with other variables just to be safe. And it will work. And it will match it up. And it will activate anything you want it to activate. Okay. And you want to use a singuisher too if you want to do it properly. If you want to use a randomizer. You can use a random one. But that's only if you want to really piss off the player. <laughs> so you can do it in multiple ways if you want to use that. And with that being said, hope you found this helpful, and you all take care.